It is unprecedented. A Buffalo native has been granted permission to exhume the body of a Catholic priest to obtain a DNA sample. Now the purpose is to prove once and for all whether the priest is the man's father. Back in February, you may remember, we introduced you to Jim Graham in our series Seeking a Confession. Tonight, investigative reporter Steve Brown has details on this extraordinary development in another Two on Your Side original. Jim Graham had hit a dead end. 25 years of digging produced a powerful but circumstantial case that his father was Catholic priest Thomas Sullivan, an oblate missionary serving in Buffalo in the 1940s. The mission still operates out of the Holy Angels Parish. Aside from the uncanny likeness, Graham unearthed records showing his mother Helen took Jim when he was an infant and ran away to New York City. Graham believes she ran away to be with Father Sullivan, who had walked away from the church. But while Graham is certain he is Father Sullivan's son, he told us he wants more. I hope the pu public pressure will get the church to be transparent in this particular case. And to confess, to publicly acknowledge an oblate priest is indeed his biological father. Graham appealed to Boston Cardinal Sean O'Malley, hoping he would convince the head of the U.S. Oblate Order, Father Louis Studer. But Studer would not budge from his position that there was insufficient proof of paternity. Earlier this year, when we visited Graham at his home in western South Carolina, we asked if science was the answer here. He was unconvinced. I thought at one time, you know, I could ask uh, to have my father's remains um, brought up in, into a DNA test, but I thought that would be just kind of grandstanding. But after our stories aired in February, Graham had a change of heart. He wrote to Father Studer about exhuming the remains of Father Sullivan. With your permission, we can bring closure to my 25-year quest for the truth with just a DNA sample. Two on your side called the Oblate headquarters in D.C. about Graham's exhumation request. We got a voicemail from Father Studer's assistant. Hello, Steve. It's Father Tom Coughlin. Uh, you called about Father Studer and uh, Jim Graham. As to uh, the exhumation issue, uh, I can't tell you what Father Father. Uh, Studer would have to say about that. But in early March, Graham got a surprising answer. Permission granted. The Oblates do not intend to oppose your proposal to exhume the remains of Father Sullivan for the purposes of DNA analysis. Father Sullivan's remains are in this cemetery in Tewksbury, Massachusetts. Exhumation is an involved process, and we talked yeah, with Graham this morning sense. about it by Skype. I didn't think they would come back and give me approval. I thought for sure they would turn me down. So I was totally surprised when I saw that they would grant me that permission. And I just, I just don't understand why they're doing it at this point. So I'm going to see this thing to the end, no matter what I have to do. So I think it, it just hit me pretty hard that that's what I would be doing. As a condition set by the Oblate Order, Graham is paying for the exhumation and must return the grounds to their original condition. Graham has also found a lab to do DNA testing. He did not mention this morning if a date had been picked but he is closer than he's ever been before to something that's eluded him for a quarter century. Undeniable scientific proof that Father Sullivan is his biological father. Scott and Mary Ellen. So Steve, if it does confirm paternity here, is it finally over for Mr. Graham? It would be confirmation, but it's really not what Jim Graham is looking for. Like the title of the series, Graham is seeking a confession. He wants church officials to publicly say, yes, a Catholic priest was your father that things were done by church officials to separate Jim Graham from his mother Helen and from Father Sullivan. And Graham hopes that a DNA test will make it impossible for the church to, not, to deny him these things any longer. Your story was fascinating and you can see the full story on our website WGRZ.com. Kind of a surprise, Mr. Graham was not expecting this today. He was shocked, I was shocked. I did not think the church would go there, but they have opened the door so that he can get an answer. Um, and the intended use is essentially use it as a fulcrum to get the church to confess to what it is that Jim Graham believes in surprise, his heart. Surprise, but a welcome surprise. A big surprise. Yeah. Steve, right. thank you.